In today's episode, you will learn how to control a robot car using Arduino. Note MCU ESP8266565 module and Blink application. The joystick widget will be used to control the forward, reverse, right and left movements. While the slider widget will be used to control the speed of the DC motors in real time. As this project is based on Wi-Fi, it means this robot can be controlled from anywhere around the world. For remote controlling, IP camera can be used for the live video streaming. I'll make a separate video on how to use the IP cameras. This is the fifth version of the robot car. While in the fourth version, I used an ultrasonic sensor to make a safe distance maintaining robot car. In this project, the speed of the robot car is automatically adjusted depending on the distance between the cars. In this project, I also explained in very detail how this technology can be used in real cars to avoid accidents. While in the third version, I used the flex sensor and the joystick together to control the same robot car. In this project, the flex sensor was used as the accelerator and the joystick was used to control the car's forward, left, right and reverse movements. I named this project as Wireless Hand Gesture plus Joystick Robot Car. While in the second version, I used only the joystick to control the speed and movement of the robot car. The program used in this project was a little bit complex, so that's why I decided to make another version of this robot and use a separate sensor for the speed controlling. So that's why I created version 3. While in the first version I used an Android cell phone to control the robot car using the SC05 Bluetooth module, the links are given in the description. Today's episode is based on my previous tutorial. In this tutorial I explained how to assemble the robot parts and how to use the L298 and motor driver to control the forward, left, right and reverse movement. In this tutorial, I also explained how to control the speed of a DC motor using the pulse width modulation. If you are a beginner and you have never used the L298N motor driver, then I highly recommend you should first watch this tutorial and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the L2918 motor driver getting started tutorial. The link is given in the description. The only modification is the addition of the Node MCU ESP8266565 module. The Node MCU TX pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 and the Node MCU RX pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 3, while the Node MCU ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. For the demonstration purposes, I will power up the Node MCU module using my laptop. Now let's make an application for the cell phone using Blink. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the new project and set the project name is IoT Robot. If you want, you can set any other name. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. And make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID. This is the authentication token. Simply copy and paste it in your programming. Click on the screen and search for the joystick widget and edit. Click on the joystick widget. Set the maximum value to 4.
Select virtual pins V10 and V11. Now again click on the screen and this time search for the slider widget and edit. This slider will be used for the speed controlling. Click on the slider and select the virtual pin V12. Set the maximum value to 255. So that's it. Our application is ready. And now let's discuss the programming. This project is based on two programs. This program is written for the Arduino, while this program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. First, let's start with the Arduino programming. We start with hash include software serial dot h. Hash include means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot h means that this is a header file. So with the help of this you can make multiple serial ports. So let's define a serial port with a name node MCU on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Define some variables of the type integer, string and character. The L298 and motor driver connections with the Arduino remains the same as explained in my previous tutorials. In the white setup function, I only edit the node mcu.begin function while the rest of the instructions remains the same. Then start the while loop function. If node MCU dot available equals equal zero. If we have not received any data from the node MCU module, then do nothing and wait for the data. I'm just using a delay of 100 milliseconds. If node MCU dot available greater than zero. If the Arduino has received data from the node MCU module, then simply read the node MCU module. Store the character in variable R data and then add this with the variable my string to make a complete message. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received from the node MCU module. The get value function is used to split the entire message using comma as the delimiter and store the string values in variables L, M and N. Then these strings are converted into integers and store the values and variables first value, second value and third value. Then we empty the variable my string for new data. If first value equals equals to and second value equals equals to. If the joystick is at its normal position then simply turn off both the motors. Else if first value equals equals to and second value is greater than 3. If the joystick is moved in the forward direction, then simply use the variable third value to adjust the motor speed using the analog write function and turn on N1 and N4 to move the robot in forward direction. And similarly for the reverse, right and left directions. Get value is a user defined function and it takes three arguments as the input, data, separator and the index. This function is used to split the message depending on the separator. In my case, I used comma as the delimiter. Now let's have a look at the node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install Node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. Define some variables of the type integer and string. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. 
Majority of the code used in this project is exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial based on the two-way communication between Arduino and NodeMCU module. For the best understanding, watch this tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. The only modification that I did in this program is that I added this function. This is a user-defined function and the purpose of this function is to send the values of the chai stick and the slider which are received from the Blink application using virtual pins 10, 11 and 12 to the Arduino board, while rest of the programming remains the same. That's it, these programs can be downloaded from my blog page. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.